Maryam Bewardi, later known as Saint Mary of Jesus Crucified, was born on January 5, 1846, in Ivijan, a small village near Nazareth in the Holy Land. Her parents, George Bowardy and Miriam Shassin, were Greek Catholics living in a predominantly Muslim region. Their faith was tested through persecution, with George even enduring time in prison for his beliefs. After losing twelve sons in infancy, the couple made a pilgrimage to Bethlehem, pleading with Our Lady for a daughter, whom they vowed to name Miriam. Their prayers were answered with the birth of Miriam, and two years later her brother Paul was born. Baptized and confirmed just ten days after her birth in accordance with the Greek Catholic rite, Miriam's life would soon be marked by profound trials and extraordinary grace. Tragedy struck early when Miriam lost both her parents to an infectious disease before she was three years old. As her father lay dying, he entrusted Miriam to the care of St. Joseph, Following this, Miriam was taken in by her paternal uncle, while Paul was sent to live with a maternal aunt. The siblings never saw each other again. Despite the kindness of her new family, Miriam's intense devotion to Our Lady surprised them. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. By the age of five, she began fasting every Saturday in honor of the Blessed Virgin and would often gather flowers to adorn an icon of Mary. At eight years old, Miriam received her first communion, driven by an irresistible longing for the Eucharist. When the family relocated to Alexandria, Miriam's life took a dramatic turn. At nearly thirteen, her uncle announced that he had arranged a marriage for her, following the customs of their time. But Miriam had already dedicated herself to Jesus as her only bridegroom and refused the marriage. Her decision enraged her uncle, who then relegated her to work as a servant in the kitchen. Miriam's trials deepened when she attempted to contact her brother Paul through a Muslim servant heading to Galilee. Upon hearing her story, the servant tried to force Miriam to renounce her Christian faith. When she steadfastly refused, he slashed her throat and left her for dead. The wound was so severe that it should have resulted in death, yet Miriam miraculously survived. She later recounted that a nun in blue had taken her to a cave, stitched her wound, and nourished her back to health with soup. The mysterious nun also foretold Miriam's future. Miriam later came to believe that it was the Blessed Virgin herself who had saved her. After this miraculous event, Miriam's life unfolded just as foretold. She never reunited with her uncle or brother, instead embarking on a journey marked by deep devotion and suffering. At the age of 15, she made a vow of chastity during a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. By 18, she had found work with a Syrian family in Marseille, France, where she entered the Sisters of St. Joseph of the Apparition. However, her mystical experiences, including ecstasies and the stigmata, made some sisters uneasy and Miriam was eventually asked to leave the congregation after a two-year postulancy. Nevertheless, her novice mistress, Sister Veronica, who was planning to transfer to the Carmel in Pau, suggested that Miriam join her there. In June 1867, Miriam entered the Carmel in Pau, taking the religious name Sister Mary of Jesus Crucified. Her mystical experiences continued, including the manifestation of the stigmata and instances of levitation. Despite the extraordinary nature of these phenomena, the Carmelite community accepted her, recognizing her deep humility, obedience, and love for God. In 1870, Miriam and a group of nuns traveled to India to establish a new Carmel. She made her profession there on November 21, 1871. Her mystical experiences continued to be a trial, and some of the sisters in Mangalore suspected demonic possession. Miriam was sent back to France, though the sisters later regretted their misjudgment. Miriam, ever humble, responded, All that has taken place was willed by Jesus. May his name be praised. It is God who has permitted everything. Returning to the Carmel of Pau in November 1872, Miriam continued her spiritual journey. In 1875, she helped to found the Carmel of Bethlehem. While supervising the construction of the new Carmel, she suffered a severe injury that led to infection. As the illness progressed, Miriam knew her time was near. On August 26, 1878, she passed away, her final words being, My Jesus, mercy. 
Miriam was buried in the Carmel she had founded in Bethlehem. Pope John Paul II beatified her in November 1983, and she was canonized in May 2015. Her feast day is celebrated on August 25th. Her life was marked by both suffering and extraordinary grace. Throughout her life, Miriam had a profound devotion to the Holy Spirit and composed this prayer. Holy Spirit, inspire me. Love of God, consume me. To the right path, lead me. Mary, my mother, look down upon me. With Jesus, bless me. From all evil, all illusion, all danger, preserve me. May the prayer of this great saint grant us the grace of holiness, healing, and restoration in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.